Hello guys, I am Subhamna for Tutorials. This video is about site specific recombination. We are discussing lambda integrase in detail in this video. So before we start, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notified whenever new video is out. So let's get started with the video. In the previous video, we have discussed the examples of the recombination. We have seen this chart. From this chart, we can understand the bacteriophage lambda integrase which is the example of tyrosine family recombinase enzyme okay what it does promotes integration and excision of lambda genome into and out of specific sequence on the e coli chromosome okay so this is in e coli and the recombinations are called sites are called ATT sites okay so what is the thing here let us first discuss we know that two cycles lytic cycle and lysogenic cycle right lytic cycle and lysogenic cycle what happens in the lytic cycle see this is a cell okay and here will be the bacteriophage like this it captures the bacterial cell this is e coli and this is a phage right lambda basically and here it will be the genome let's show genome in the red color here is the genome okay so it inserts its genome like this and bacteria is having its own genome too which will be the circular one, right? This is the E. coli genome and this is the phage genome inserted. Now what happens? This lytic cycle will continue, okay? And this will synthesize proteins, etc. Means it will multiply inside and then it will cause lysis cell death right of e coli this cell will burst if i draw like this this cell will burst and all the bacteriophage will be coming out right okay like this every from every side the bacteria will be uh, viruses will be released out from the cell so in lytic cycle what happens lysis take place but what happens in the lysogenic cycle that is integration okay integration takes place between these two right and then what happens i will draw your a genome like this circular okay this is a bacterial genome and the phage genome gets inserted in this only like this okay like this will get inserted so this is black one is the bacteria and red is the phage genome so here integration has to place after integration this is known as prophage okay what we can see is inactive state is there inactive state means it will just keep on replicating with the bacterial chromosome okay it will keep on replicating with the bacterial chromosome but it will not synthesize the proteins or it will not uh, synthesize the dna genome right those will be not synthesized of the phage okay so basically this is inactive state under favorable condition again this will get separated okay under favorable conditions this will get separated Suppose this is a phage genome got separated now and the bacterial genome is separated. Okay, so these two things got separated now. This process is known as excision. So this integration and excision 
actually this is an example of site specific recombination right this is example of site specific recombination so there are two sides okay two sides this is a phage and this is a chromosome bacterial bacteria so both are the genetic material so here the crossover take place okay certain sites known as recombination sites we know that right specific sites recombination sites okay so these sites are known as ATP attachment site okay in phage it is known as ATTP in bacteria it is known as ATTB within those specific site only recombination crossing over take place right then there are proteins right integrase okay integrase is a protein lambda integrase okay lambda integrase and there are many such factors now we will see with the help of diagrams this is a phage recombination site we can see in the dark red and this is in bacteria so these are known as attp and attb okay then integrative recombination for integration right this is taking place for integration so see this integration has been resulted so this is known as prophage okay prophage now this diagram is very important okay here are the different sites we can see here attp is large okay having different segments on it right and this is a bacterial genome c attachment attb and attp p is again divided into p and p dash here this is c c b b the cross over will take place here right so for integration these two important proteins are there integrase and ihf and for excision getting out separating integration integration host factor as well as xis that is for excision okay excision so that much only we have to understand and the sites basically the sites let's have a look at it now lambda uh, integrase is a tyrosine recombinase right tyrosine recombinase as i have discussed in the previous video tyrosine recombinase first what does top strand cleavage this is the first step and then bottom strand cleavage right and here is the formation of holiday junction so this is the highlighting point of tyrosine combinase and the next protein integration host factor okay i will write here full form integration host factor so this is very important for integration basically integration and xis this is for excision excision right now this is a recombinase and this other proteins ihf and xix these two proteins are called as architectural proteins architectural proteins 
okay i mean this is a complex of accessory protein basically which are important for the process to occur what they do they cause a bend in dna cause a bend in dna so bending is caused integration factor greater than 6160 degree bending excision greater than 140 degree right so this bending is done these are the proteins okay proteins this slide is about proteins now protein binding sites we will discuss protein binding sites first of all we will write the proteins here like lambda integrase okay then ihf and xis lambda integrase binding site is called p okay ihf h site and x x site also there is other protein known as fis f site okay we can see here f region so all these are the sites now let's see the diagram clearly see here these are the sites a t t p and here is the p dash okay h side and p side okay here is the f side as well x side is there for excision then what happens C crossover will take place and this C will combine with this B dash. Okay, like this. Like this. And this B with this C. And this will form ATTL means left side. Okay, left side. And this right side. What it how? When we will do the structure like here. So this is the right side this strand will be like this okay be like this so here will be left side and here will be the right side so thus this will form attr and att l that's it that's only we have to remember okay the proteins the protein binding sites okay and this is related to the lysogenic cycle that is integration of the lambda genome into the bacteria that is e coli and its excision right so for the integration what takes place for the integration integrase plus ihf okay and for excision integrase plus ihf is there but additional factor xix so that's it for this video i hope this video helps you if you find this video helpful do let us know in the comment section